On this week's episode of Dirt Garage, we hit the trails near Sandpoint, Idaho for the Panhandle Overland Rally. We find a pretty unique fire tower that is really tall and even drive on the ridge of a mountain. And of course, even at an Overland event, I still managed to get body damage. Brought to you in part by Cranbrook Toyota. All right, so we made it here to Sandpoint. We are at the Panhandle Overland Rally. Honestly, I don't know a whole lot about this event other than it's a bunch of overlanders and vendors that show up and camp and there's live music and there's trail runs and Sean's here. here. <laughs> so for us to get down here, it's about like a two hour drive. Sean, on the other hand, two days. Yeah, I mean a day if you don't stop. Happy to see you. Happy to see you too. <laughs> Ow, man, you got quite the punch there. Man, you're already set up. We haven't even started. <laughs> he set up in the time it took me to like do this shot. The atmosphere at this event is actually like super cool. Last night there was like an acoustic fireside performance. We all just kind of hung around the fire pit. And yeah, really good vibe. And now, me and Sean are off to find a fire tower. It's an interesting road so far. Um, nothing too crazy, nothing too difficult. Uh, it's just, it's very long and all uphill, but not steep enough that we needed to walk the hubs yet. What the heck is even that? A gate. <laughs> that thing uh, that we hate. We might be walking the rest of the way. But hey, according to the maps, like, it's the fire lookout is just like a couple hundred meters up, so. I think we're gonna walk. So we are looking at tire tracks coming up this road here. So if I had to guess, maybe this is the actively used tower, unlike what we have in Canada. And uh, well, since we're out of fire season, they probably locked that gate probably a week ago. How does it feel to be the most athletic of the group? <laughs> How does it feel to be the most athletic? Come on, we're almost there. Are you sure? No. <laughs> we got our first signs of uh, Snow! <laughs> Good shot. Yeah, we're, it's, it's definitely mellowing out. Huh. What hill are you climbing? <laughs> it looks like it might. It, no, it's mellowing out. We'll probably go around this bend, there'll be another uphill. It wouldn't be nearly as rough if we didn't get into the sauce last night. And the fact that uh, me and Sean both got zero sleep last night. It was so windy. Check this out. We have visual and it is it's a tall tower. Yeah, I haven't been to a fire tower nearly this tall before. Actually, we were at that like weird needle one, but we weren't able to go up it. This one looks like we might actually be able to go check it out from up there. Oh, she's coming. I might only make it to the first level, but. It's a lot more solid than you think. Yeah, I don't like it. This is, this is where I feel safe. It's a bummer. So. Well, I feel dizzy up yeah, here. Yeah, and so do I. It's actually kind of trippy up here. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why that is. I think it's cause, I don't know. I kind of want to get off of yeah, it. Yeah, so do I. But yeah, they let you get like all the way to the last set of stairs and there is a um, Dude, look it over there. door and, oh, the lake. It's beautiful. It's a really gorgeous spot. Oh, 
way up here in the wilderness and you can still hear the sound of drones. That just comes with nature nowadays, I guess. Sam walked down the ridge here and discovered this really neat like rock face. It got a layer of moss on it. There's an excellent view. Shortly after checking out the fire tower, we found this insanely beautiful ridge rope. It was really steep and off camber in a lot of sections, so getting out to film was a no-go. And if you want to check out some epic drone shots from this spot, make sure you check out Sean's video because he did a much better job capturing it with the drone from the air. found this beauty spot here to stop for lunch. In fact, if we were camping, this would be an awesome spot to stay too. We got a fire pit. It's starting to clear up in that direction, which is really nice, but uh, yeah. We'll have some lunch and then we'll carry on our way. What do you think of the Ridge Road? Um, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Only a little scary. Yeah, it, it, it freaked her out a bit, but it's fun. She's out of practice. So they have a bit of a course set up here at the venue. So that's our next plan. We just locked the hubs, we're not gonna air down because <laughs> I think it's a small course, but uh, yeah, should be fun.
So, <laughs> coming up here the first time, I, uh, I hurt the tailgate of my truck and lost one of my uh, super ugly mud flaps. What's the new body damage? That was from a tree at the bottom. It just matches the rest of the damage in this specific corner, so it's mint. And check it out, even with this massive dent, tailgate works just fine. Didn't even affect my uh, snail armor panel. Link in the description below. <laughs> I'm happy. Are you guys happy? I'm happy. How about a, a thumbs up and possibly a subscribe for body damage? Subscribe for body damage. That's a good deal, right? <laughs> subscribe for body. Can you imagine <laughs> if we actually did that? This thing would be a raisin in no time. 